Hello and welcome everyone, Swiss Experiments here, Nico. Uh, today we're gonna go and take a look at how to suppress a Tesla. Uh, as you may or may not know, uh, it kind of makes a UFO sound when you're backing up and also it makes some some kind of noise when you're going forward and at low speeds. Now, when you're going forward, it, it's not that annoying. Really, you can't really hear it. It's as if a car was rolling down the pavement, which is okay. However, when you're backing up, the UFO sound is extremely loud. It is extremely annoying for me, and what I'm gonna try and do here is bypass the system that Tesla put in to detect when a user unplugs the speaker. All right, so this is all you would need. You need a resistor that's four ohms and at least 25 watts. I've seen people use um, smaller ones such as the eight watts resistors and whatever, but the speaker is rated for 25 watts, so I don't wanna risk it. Uh, and I went with a hundred since it really doesn't matter. Uh, that price doesn't really change a lot. Better be safe than sorry. Then you need uh, just a couple strip wires and uh, I don't really know the dimensions for these uh, but they appear to be 0 0.8 to 1.6 I'm supposing millimeters and that's like the section maybe and the thing is that these things fit perfectly in the plug as you'll see in a bit so then what I'll do is just put them through solder them and uh, get back to you in a second. And for good measure, um, we are going to put some heat shrink protection over. So it is protected from the environment and also it doesn't make any contact with anything in the car. That's all it takes. So to make it a little bit cooler, I bent it this way and let's wrap it all right so if you want to open up the side panel over here what you have to do is go on the right side of the car the front right side and then let's see if I can work the sunlight a little bit better there's gonna be one two and three pins that you have to unplug so the way you do it is you can use this flathead screwdriver or even just your finger and pull and then the third one you need a Torx screwdriver it's a T30H screwdriver not all cars have that some are just regular ones By the way, in order to access this, you need to turn your uh, wheels all the way to the left. And then, just like that, you can just pull this lightly. And you'll have access to the speaker. So then when you have access to the speaker, all you have to do is pull this this pin here, this lid actually, and then you can pull the whole plug out, just like that. And it's pretty hard to fit both my hand and the camera, but this is the plug. And these two holes are the uh, ones that we're gonna fill with the wire that we just soldered to the resistor. Okay, so this is my first attempt, and what I did was just literally plug the cable in. And it makes a somewhat good connection, and it doesn't seem to be slipping out. What I'm eventually going to do is I'm going to take some tape and wrap it around, make sure that it doesn't slip anywhere away from there. But this is it so far, so I'm just going to set it in there to test it out.
now outside of the parking brakes and the car making weird noises for the AC uh, it's much more silent you you cannot hear anything that the speaker would otherwise output which is the desired result I found some double-sided tape and so I'm gonna stick it underneath here and then somewhere in in there so that it doesn't move around one second and that is the temporary and final result it's sitting here it's not really moving this one has got some tape on it just in case and this one as well so that dirt doesn't get in the way um, however this is so far holding so all you have to do at this point is well, put the screws back now just to sh show you um, let's get in here the car used to detect uh, the fact that you disconnected the PWS or boombox and um, that's why we need a resistor right now so if we try and play any sounds at all see there's no error at all no sound being emitted if I put it in reverse and drive that's I mean you'll hear exactly nothing which is what I showed you before there are no errors at all either uh, so within alerts you used to be able to see the uh, notification and um, yeah well so far so good I'll let you know if that changes but I don't think it's gonna change uh, so far it's just gonna stay like this and the uh, car detects the load it's not an inductive load but um, I don't think they're gonna go as far as measuring that it's been an interesting experiment and so at this point we're just gonna go ahead and plug the car back with my new wall connector and I'm gonna leave it at 90% because why not and uh, thank you for watching and until next time see you